Na mshukran kwa kuungana nami mtazamaji karibu kwa taarifa kamili. Katibu mkuu wa chama cha ODM Edwin Sufuna amesema kuwa kuna uwezekano kuwa madai ya ufisadi yanayomhusisha ama inayohusisha almashauri ya Kemsa ya fedha za kupambana na janga la corona nchini si ya kweli. Sifuna amesema kuwa ni ripoti tu ya mkaguzi mkuu wa fedha za serikali itakayoeleza ukweli wa mambo. Sifuna aliyasema haya walipozuru eneo la Manzoni. Tuwa masuala ambayo yaliibuliwa na kipindi cha NTV pale Kemsa ni muhimu tujue tunaanzia wapi. A, ripoti hiyo ya Kemsa vile ambavyo ameeleza mwenzangu hapa ilisaidia kufichua kwamba kunaweza kukuwa na tatizo fulani hapa katika a, ile procurement ya PPEs. Lakini unapoenda the next step inafaa kuwa ni nini? Tunasema yule ambaye ni mkaguzi wa mahesabu ya serikali ni muhimu angekuwa wa kwanza yeye kwanza atathmin hii ripoti ambayo iliibuliwa na a, vyombo vya habari ili kuweza kujua kwamba uh, zile stakabadhi kwa mfano ambazo tuliona ni stakabadhi za kweli uh, na kwamba kuna taabu mahali kwa sababu hapo nyuma tunajua kwamba uh, yule mkaguzi wa mahesabu wa, wa serikali ndio mwenye kuibua haya maswala kwa, uh, so that by the time tunaenda kwa ule uh, you know uchunguzi uh, na mashirika kama DCI ya kutafuta uh, uh, shida iliyopo kama kulikuwepo na ulagai fulani basi wanafanya hiyo uchunguzi kulingana na yale mahesabu ambayo yamekaguliwa na yule eh, ambaye ni mkaguzi wa, wa, wa stakabadhi za, za serikali we thank the media for being a whistleblower but uh, you can't conduct prosecution on the basis of a whistleblower i think the whistleblowing is to direct you to check whether there is a problem or not and then there are agencies starting with the office of the auditor general that would now be able to bring out uh, evidence upon which uh, prosecution can be done i think that's what we are saying uh, it's not to condemn the media i think the media is doing a very good job correct in terms of uh, whistle blowing but uh, I th uh, sometimes we are prone to cheering mob justice and uh, i think that is what we have to be a bit careful about especially on an issue as sensitive as the covid pandemic because people are dying and when uh, we uh, we divert attention to mob lynching uh, people people will lose faith even in the fight they say okay then this is just an a gravy train Yeah, it's no, uh, and uh, you know there are so many s skeptics who are saying, in fact, uh, this uh, co COVID thing doesn't even exist. So when now we have this kind of situation, um, acting on inconclusive uh, evidence, then we compromise our war against uh, the pandemic. Na tukiachana hayo mtazamaji ni kwamba wasichana wengi katika eneo la Maikona kaunti ya Marsabit wanakeketwa na kisha kuozwa wakati huu shule zimefungwa kutokana na janga la corona. Inadaiwa wasichana hao wanavukishwa katika taifa la Ethiopia ili kufanyiwa utamaduni huo uliopitwa na wakati na kisha kurejeshwa humu nchini ili kuozwa kwa wazee licha ya umri wao mdogo. Lakini kuna matumaini ya kuzika tamaduni hii kufuatia kampeni ya nyumba hadi nyumba inayoendelezwa na shirika la Amref. We are facing some serious challenges with uh, COVID-19 and um, it has taken back what whatever that we've been achieving for the past uh, two years since inception of our project. Like uh, female genital mutilation has heightened and uh, community members are really, really practicing the cut uh, due to school being closed and also because of covid-19 now everything is relaxed like um, they see that even the security people the chiefs the ward administrators have relaxed on their job because they are taking girls to outskirts villages which uh, are a little bit far from the the town centers where local administrations are based 
So girls are being taken to outskirt villages where they cannot be traced and they are undergoing female genital mutilation. Simu kama hii corona, ingawaje hata hakuna shule, wengawa wamechukua hii mtindo, kana kwamba wanaenda, wanajifanya kama wanaenda fora, wanaenda kutairiwa, ingine wanasema iti wanaenda kupitia familia yao kule Ethiopia, na ilali wanaenda kutairiwa. Visa vya dhulma za nyumbani vimeongezeka katika kaunti ya Kiambu hali ambayo imeifanya kaunti hiyo kurudheshwa ya tatu baada ya kaunti ya Nairobi na Kisumu kulingana na shirika moja la kijamii hali hiyo imechangia kuongezeka kwa wagonjwa wa matatizo ya kiakili katika kaunti hiyo aidha visa vya mimba zisizopangiwa pia vimeongezeka hali ambayo kulingana na shirika hilo haikuanza wakati huu wa corona The perpetrators of gender based violence must be prosecuted and gender-based violence cannot be trivialized or normalized. Despite the high rate of gender-based violence in Kiabu, there is no functional state land shelter in Kiabu County. Yet the County Department of Gender and the Social Services is consistently discriminated in budget allocations. Allocation to social expenditure is inadequate. Grassroots women in rural areas and informal settlements continue to shoulder the unpaid burden of rescuing and sheltering GBV victims in the county. This is the role of the government, and the women's contribution in subsidizing the state should not be taken for granted. To support GBV survivors in Kiabu, Groots Kenya, in partnership with MasterCard Foundation and the county government of Kiabu, is implementing a resilience and recovery program in the county. Na viongozi humu nchini wanaendelea kuishurutisha serikali kutokana na madai ya wizi wa fedha za kupambana na corona nchini. Mbunge wa Naivasha Jen Kihara ametaja wizi huo kama jambo la aibu na kukosa utu. Kihara anasema visa vya ufisadi vinaendelea kulema za sekta kadhaa humu nchini na taasisi zilizochukua jukumu la kukomesha udhia huu zikionekana kutowajibika inavyofaa. Some counties do not have enough facilitation to cater for COVID-19 patients. Uh, they don't have oxygen, they don't have uh, ventilators, and yet all the money is being eaten in Nairobi. This is very sad, uh, stealing from the sick. And, and it, this is not the first time. We know there are people who enrich themselves with disasters. When there is a disaster, somebody gets rich, they build houses, they buy cars, they buy properties. This is something that should not go unpunished. It is the saddest thing that ever happened. Those companies, the owners, we hear that have benefited. For some of these things, you don't even want to believe that a donation can be sold to the government again. Na msimu wa kuhama kwa nyangumi mwavutia watali wengi katika eneo la watamu ili kushuhudia tukio hilo ambalo hushuhudiwa kila mwaka kwenye bara hindi. Msimu wa kuhama kwa wanyama hao ambao hushuhudiwa kati ya mwezi Julai na Septemba umeshuhudiwa mwaka huu kukiwa na idadi ndogo ya watalii wa kigeni kutokana na janga la corona ambalo limeendelea kutikisa sekta ya utalii. Mwanabari wetu Agnes Gakunga na taarifa hiyo. Ni msimu wa nyangumi kuhama na tukio hili limewavutia wengi hapa watamu kaunti ya Kilifi kushuhudia maajabu ya ulimwengu. Ingawa msimu huu umewadia wakati ulimwengu unakabiliana na janga la virusi vya corona, watalii ambao wengi ni wa Kenya wamefika katika eneo la watamu kushuhudia viumbe hawa wa majini wakihama. We've just experienced one of our whale watching trips today. Um, the humpback migration comes through across the coast of East Africa every year in July, August and September, which is one of the low seasons here. It's actually winter on the coast and it's not normally a very busy time. But because of the whales offering something that's completely unique, and very unusual we've got guests coming here and providing an income to the local market and to the local people at a time when we wouldn't normally be busy ni mantha ya kupendeza na ambayo sekta utalii huko nchini hujivunia 
kila mwaka nyangumi huhama kutoka Ulaya kutokana na baridi kuingia pwani ya Afrika Mashariki mahali kuna joto ili waweze kuzana. Uh, we saw a mother and a cub and it's exciting. I can tell you the anxiety that was created until we saw these animals. It's really it's really uh, nice. Uh, so I want to encourage Kenyans to come to Atamu and see the migration of the hump uh, back well and uh, also it's going to be difficult you need patience uh, but i can tell you when you see it you see how huge this animal is msimu wa kuhama kwa nyangumi hushuhudiwa kati ya mwezi julai na mwezi septemba sambamba na kivukio cha nyumbu kutoka hifadhi ya wanyama ya serengeti nchini tanzania hadi katika hifadhi ya wanyama ya masai mara humu nchini Idadi ya nyangumi wanaohama mwaka huu imeongezeka lakini idadi ya watalii imepungua ikilinganishwa na miaka ya hapo awali. Agnes Gakunga, KTN News. Na bila shaka ni tasuri ya kuvutia mno mtazamaji iwapo uko na muda basi nenda watamu ukajionee urembo wa taifa letu la Kenya. Kwingine kwa ni kwamba maafisa wa polisi walishindwa kuzuia msafara wa ombolezaji waliokuwa wanausafirisha mwili wa mmoja wa watu watatu waliofariki baada ya kuungukiwa na lori la kusafirisha miwa la kampuni ya West Kenya eneo la kambi ya Mwanza. Mafisa hao walikuwa wamewataka ombolezaji kutumia njia nyingine kwa hofu kuwa wanaweza kuleta machafuko katika kiwanda hicho. Ila wanabodaboda hao waliendelea na safari yao ya kukitaka kiwanda hicho kuweka lami barabara hiyo pamoja na kutafuta njia mbadala ya kupunguza msongamano wa malori yanayosafirisha miwa. Serikali yetu ya Kenya paka na MCA paka na wapunge msilale usingizi tunataka tushirikiane tukue watu tukue pamoja tushirikiane hii barabara at least mtuungie hii barabara West Kenya imenunua mashamba kando ya barabara wafungue barabara ndani tinga sio sinaingilia shambelele sinaingia kwa factory pikipiki ikitoka huko ipita tu kwa njia ya amani driver wa Kenya wenye wameletwa tafadhali ukitoka mali umetoka ukifika chakisho ya kambi Tembesa lori kwa usalama kwa maana hii barabara iko na wanadamu. Mambo ya mashindano kwa barabara na umetoka misimu na miwa, umetoka miwani, umetoka mumias. Kitu gani inafanyanga wa wafanyakazi wa West Kenya mnafika kwa changisho na alafu mnaendesha malori kama mnaendesha kwa kwa barabara yenye imewekwa lami. Na hii barabara imewekwa pumps, endesha ukichua tuna wanadamu kwa hiyo barabara. Shirika la kusambaza maji eneo la Magharibi sasa limeanza miradi mipya ya kusambaza maji hadi, hadi katika maeneo ya bonde la Ufa yaliyo karibu ikiwemo kaunti jirani ya Nandi kwa kima cha zaidi ya shilingi milioni mbili ili kuhakikisha maeneo hayo yana maji ya kutosha na pia kusambaza maji hadi mjini Eldoret baadhi ya miradi imefadhiliwa na mataifa ya nje kama vile Uswizi na inajumuisha mradi wa kusambaza maji ya unyunyizaji mimea katika eneo la Tinderet eneo la magharibi na lile la bonde la Ufa kunufaika na vyanzo vingi vilivyo mpakani ukiwemo msitu wa Kakamega We are visiting uh, Nandi County today uh, to look at projects under the Ministry of Water that are being implemented by our water development agencies um, Today we will visit three projects, uh, one at Kaptildil, which is uh, a water borehole that is being built to benefit this, the school there and the local community. Then we visit another one at a place called Chebilat, which is almost similar to that one. And then, of course, we will go to uh, the border between Nandi and Eldred to see the Kipkaran waterworks that is supposed to supply water to Eldred and parts of Nandi. As Nandi County, we, we, we are leveraging on some of these more, we, you know, national government water projects so that the extent that we are focusing on ourselves is what you would call last mile, you know, extending from what the, uh, the national government programs have uh, achieved, we do the last mile, the connectivity and ensuring that we're able to extend the same to uh, our residents. 
Wakulima wadogo wadogo kutoka kaunti za Nyamira, Kisii, Homa Bay, Migori, Bomet na Narok watapokea mbolea bila malipo ili kuwakinga kutokana na athari za janga la corona. Msada huu utaweza kuwapiga jeki wakulima hao ambao ni takriban 1018 kuendeleza kilimo chao. Naibu gavana wa kaunti ya Nyamira Amos Nyaribu amewapa changamoto wakulima hao kuwajibika na kutayarisha mashamba yao tayari kwa msimu wa upanzi. Kwa mpango ni mzuri lakini wakulima wangapi ambao tunasema wako na simu ya kutuma message ili waweze kusajiliwa Uh, wale ambao kabisa hawana kitu hawana simu labda so lazima muangalie tukitumia hii pia tuone kwamba njia ambayo wanakuwa targeted ni haina kasoro ndani because ni, kuna uwezekano wa wale ambao labda wa, wa, wako na uwezo wa kutuma message kwa simu eh, labda kuweza kupata msaada mbele mbele kuliko wale wengine yale makupa mbolea lakini usifikirie yale utakuja kurima shamba yako. Lazima utaunese shamba lako mzuri ikuwe tayari kwa kupanda. We are encouraging the farmers to take uh, the new technology now that Nyamira and the other parts are facing the challenge of uh, uh, land. It's about uh, embracing the new technology so that we can produce more and ensure that uh, our people are, 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 are food secured. Na mtazamaji na kwenye makala mirindimo Jumahili tunaangazia kukuruka kara za nje na ndani ya bunge la seneti maseneta Cleophas Malala Lelegwe na Langat wakitifua kivumbi jijini hadi mashambani kwingine kwa naibu rais William Ruto alikutana na kina Brayo na Kevo akiwa na rafiki yake Kimani Chungwa tumpishe sasa mwanabari wetu Mark na Maswa Naam baada ya malala kukosa kulala kwake Kitengela mbio mbio huyo na polisi hadi Kakamega wafuasi wake wakasema kiongozi na malala no peace Naye kiongozi akasema I don't have a mask. Ala? They don't have sanitizers. Okay. They want to force me into a room. I will not get into that room. You will kill me here. Moto wa maseneta ukichacha nje bungeni pia mambo yalichacha. Kipchumba Murkomen twende kazi. If you confirm to me Mr. Speaker that that is not the position. Okay. I will know that the conspiracy we are talking about is not there. We are not children. I have been majority leader and deputy majority leader in this house. Murkomen kuna msanii aliamua kwamba ukirusha anarusha. Among the only few senators that voted. The few senators that voted to get you for two votes Mr. Speaker to become in that chair. Senator Lalekwa and Senator Lalakad. Senator Lalekwa and Senator Lalakad. Mr. Speaker you sacrificed me. You sacrificed Susan Kiika. Don't sacrifice Kenya. Don't sacrifice Mr. Speaker. Order, 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 order. Hey hey. Professor eti kuna mambo yamekuwasha sana Mr Speaker today history is before you Today destiny is staring at you As the speaker who will deliver this senate from the bondage of malevolent and capricious men Okay Na Senator Mtula Kilonzo na Senator Kajwang kumbe wana mawili matatu ya kufunzana Could you Mr Speaker just advise him not to threaten chaos in the house That would be the orderly way to proceed. Keep your cool, boy. The same person who blew whistles on the president is advising me about chaos. What are you talking about? Listen to wisdom and shut up and listen. Ala? Na mkuingineko mnawajua kina Brayo na Kevo ni hatari sana sekta ya kinadada. Leo wameletwa kwenye maswala ya siasa. Nikauliza Brayo, yani Brayo unajua system. Okay. Kaniambia ambia deputy president. Yeye yeah, alisema hakuna system. Mboka ni mboka. Sijui ama ndio inasema. Eh? 
Mm. Anayefunga mirindimo ni Ustad wa nyama. Tupe habari. Je, gonjo hili litaendelea kuwa kanga na kama njugu karanga na karara kwenye karai karamuni? Okay. Mganga mganguzi mkaguzi mchambuzi Ustad Jenerali wa nyama anaondoka. Mark na Maswa. Mirindimo. Na bila shaka mtazamaji kila siku ya Ijumaa usipitwe na kuvunja mbavu papa hapa KTN News. <laughs> Tusongwe mbele ambapo zaidi ya wafanyabiashara tano wa samaki ambao walikuwa wanaendesha biashara zao ndani ya vibanda kwa zaidi ya miaka 30 kwenye soko la Matope katika kaunti ya Busia watanufaika na ujenzi wa soko la kisasa. Mradi huu wa kima cha shilingi milioni sitini na ambao unatarajiwa kukamilika katika muda wa mwezi mmoja umefadhiliwa na Benki ya Dunia kupitia mradi unaounga mkono ugatuzi nchini kulingana na mkurugenzi wa kitengo cha samaki katika kaunti ya Busia Timothy Odende lengo kuu ni kupanua uzalishaji wa samaki ili wafanyabiashara wengi waweze kupata samaki wa kutosha The county eh, to to invest kwa fish production objective yetu ni ku increase production ya samaki ipatikane kwa wingi eh, kwa kaunti ya Busia ili traders wapate kupata samaki so what we have done kuna zile samaki ambazo tunafuga kwa cages kweli bado hazitoshi lakini we are still expanding the cage cage farming mbali na hiyo tunafanya production kwa aqua parks where tunaleta wakulima wengi kwa dogo dogo na tunaweka wa pamoja na hiyo tunafanya to target yetu ni kufanya kwa kila kwa kila sub county it is um, the, the, the only market of its kind eh, ambayo iko dedicated uh, kwa mambo ya samaki peke yake na ambayo pia inasaidia katika uh, biashara ya samaki uh, within the country and also outside the country kwa neighboring countries all the way up to uh, DRC Congo Na mkufikia hapo mtazamaji sina budi ila kutamatisha 